What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we are going to be previewing the Manchester City game against Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup final. Before we crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, then make sure you help support my channel by subscribing, pressing that red button, pressing the bell and putting your push notifications on. We're aiming for 6,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also you can find my social media links, which you can find in the description below and popping up on screen too. If you want to go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you can also find my email in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, don't forget Leave your thoughts in the comments below with your score and team prediction from this game. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Let's dive right in. So, it's the Carabao Cup Final. It's Manchester City's third Carabao Cup Final in a row. We are the back-to-back -back champions. We're looking to make it three times champions in a row. Uh, Manchester City and Pep Guardioli has a good relationship with the Carabao Cup and he'll be wanting to add the first piece of major silverware to the trophy cabinet. Uh, but this is just as big a game for Aston Villa, if not bigger, because we know what it's like to be a club that's uh, not won as many major trophies as what you would like, and Aston Villa are one of those that... Uh they should be taking the cup competition seriously because it's an excellent opportunity for a great day out for their fans. It's an opportunity for them to get some major silverware, to get into Europe too. And at the end of the day, being a football fan, the one thing you want your club to be is successful. And winning a major piece of silverware... Uh, it's always something that they're going to be looking for. And so it's a big game for Aston Villa here. It's a big game for Manchester City. Something's got to give. I'm looking forward to the game. It's a 4.30pm GMT kickoff time Sunday, March 1st, of course, because it's a leap year. Uh, the League Cup final, Wembley Stadium. First major piece of silverware on offer. Chance for Villa to secure European football for next season. It's a chance for Manchester City to get a major trophy once again for the third season in a row. A lot to play for. Let's go. So let's speak about Aston Villa first, our oppositions. They're struggling a little in the Premier League, 17th. Obviously, they'll have had expectations to avoid relegation, and if they finish 17th at the end of the season, well, the club's going to be happy with that because they've avoided relegation. That's going to be their main priority to make sure that happens and they don't get relegated. So, uh, this is basically a free game for them. It's a free pass for them to try and pick up a win, get that dream trophy and get a place in Europe. They can use that as their pivotal moment to be able to turn their season around, take the confidence and be able to move on from there towards the conclusions, towards the end of the season. It would be a dream for them to beat us and pick up the League Cup. It really would. I'm not doubting them at all. They're going to give it their all. They're going to want to win this trophy. Manchester City, I'm hoping, are going to have the same mentality. The players look very composed and professional and calm. Um, Aston Villa is going to be probably more up for the competition and up for the game, if you know what I mean. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to have um, more passion on the pitch or anything. It's just that uh, the emotions, I reckon, will probably be there for Aston Villa more so than what it will be for Manchester City. I've made comments on this several times that City, at times when they're playing, can become almost robotic, um, which... In Cup Finals, it's probably a good thing because it keeps things nice and calm for us. Uh, and because it's nice and calm, we just treat it like any other game, which is kind of the way to be. It's the winning mentality that City have got. But this is going to be a tricky game, I reckon. I reckon the score is going to be quite low. We've seen City be shocked before. Uh, Sunderland, when we played them in the League Cup Final a few years back, they went 1-0 ahead. Manchester City had to dig really deep to be able to win that game. We ended up winning 3-1 in the end with a uh, Jesus Navas goal right at the end to make it 3 after Yaya Torre and Sami Nadri scored a couple of beautiful goals in that game. Uh, and then, of course, we've seen Wigan do us in the FA Cup Final too. So there is hope for Aston Villa there to be able to get a result going into this game. We have to be careful. So where's the dangers? I don't really need to speak about Jack Grealish too much because we know how good he is. Go and watch me with the previews, previews when I've spoke about Aston Villa against Manchester City. I know how good he can be. He is a player that can make the difference and he's a player that City have to be careful of uh, and not allowing him too much space to run into because he likes to run into space. He likes to dribble with the ball. He likes to make things happen. And Aston Villa will look to use him as an outlet to be able to make things happen. But I reckon this game is going to be won and lost on the ability of Aston Villa to create chances and put them chances away. So I'm looking to the Aston Villa attackers and I'm saying, is there enough quality there to be able to hurt Manchester City? Well, it's an anything goes game. It's 90 minutes on a pitch. It's 90 minutes at Wembley Stadium. It's a cup final. 
literally anything can go and City need to be careful. We've got an advantage with having the experience of playing in the League Cup final, of playing in the big games and playing uh, on big pitches and playing at Wembley Stadium. It's our second home basically now. Uh, we've got all the experience and we need to use all of that to be able to chalk off another win. Um, it's not disrespectful, but I'm just treating this really like any other game. I'm not putting any disrespect on Aston Villa because I think Aston Villa, this is a big game for them. But with uh, the City point of view, is just it's it's a cup final. It's any other game. We've gotten used to it now. We know what it takes to win. Let's go and get the job done. And let's everyone go out there and go and enjoy themselves because at the end of the day, it's another trophy on offer. It's another chance for City to show just how successful they can be. And Pep takes them domestic trophies very seriously. Have we won domestically? I think it's eight in the last nine trophies, which is just incredible. So, uh, yeah, Aston Villa are going to be up against it. Uh, what are their strikers going to be able to do? So I'm talking players like Treasure Game, talking players like Wesley, if he does end up featuring. What are they going to do? They're going to have to be clinical. If they get given a couple of opportunities, you think that they're going to have to go and put them away and put them in the back of the net to be able to hurt City because... Um, it's difficult, it can be done, I saw Chelsea do it last season to be able to nil Manchester City, it can be done, um, it's one of them where there's not going to be too many chances created so you have to be clinical, just like any other Premier League game, we've seen City go to a difficult game at Villa Park and beat Aston Villa and put them to the sword, so I'm hoping that we can do the same here, it's a big pitch, uh, I'd probably go with lots of skill to start with and then bring on the quick players as the, t uh, the legs start to tire because that worked really well I thought against Real Madrid and their pitch isn't the smallest uh, and I feel like it can work well here at Wembley against Aston Villa in a cup final. It's one of those I just want to get the job done uh, and then celebrate and then earn our rest and then move on to our next game because we've got games coming in thick and fast so we can't afford to be dwelling on things too much and uh, we need some confidence. Obviously we beat Real Madrid, Premier League's not going too great, we've got some confidence going now, it's important to try and maintain that confidence, pick up the first domestic trophy, we've got another cup game coming up in midweek against Sheffield Wednesday, get a couple of wins there and all of a sudden then uh, it's not looking too bad when we face the prospect of possibly uh, a couple of trophies in the cabinet. You know, it, it's good, it's good. Uh, I'm hoping we can get the job done here. But, um, yeah, I feel like the middle of the pitch is going to be very uh, sticky. I feel like it's going to be like the Real Madrid game. Aston Villa are going to sit a lot of men behind the ball. There's going to be lots of players in defence and midfield. They're going to struggle to create opportunities. The pitch is nice and big. They've not got, in my opinion, the best of wingers and attack and uh, quickness up front. So I feel like it's going to get very sticky in the middle. So I feel like it's important to try and utilise the width. Uh, like I said, I'd be bringing in players like Sterling on, in my opinion, in the second half to get at the tired leg. So very important for players. We could even see Cancelo and Mendy starting here, occupying the width and then putting in some good quality balls, which uh, is something I feel like City could improve on, in my opinion. In terms of team news for Manchester City, I'm not expecting to see Leroy Sane in this game. That's unfortunate. I'm not at the time of recording this, there might be more information coming out, but at the time of me recording this video, I've not had any update on a Merrick Laporte. I know we won't feature in this game, but I'm hoping to get some clarification of how long he's going to be out for so we can have an expected date for him to return. And I've got everything crossed, literally, like, across the thumbs too, that that injury isn't too serious and we can see him again at some point this season because uh, it didn't look good when he went off against Real Madrid. Of course, we beat Real Madrid, we've got confidence going in there this game. So yeah, looking forward to this game. My score prediction, I'm going for 2-0 to Manchester City. I think it'll be a close game. I think Aston Villa want to absorb. I think they'll be delighted if they go in level, nil-nil at half-time and be able to try and sneak the game and get something to work with, pick up a goal in the second half, have something to defend and put City under pressure. That way, that way will open up the game for them. For Manchester City, we need to just break down the uh, wall that I'm sure will come from Aston Villa. If we can get that goal, secure our goal, then it's going to open up the game and make the game a little bit more entertaining. But I'm going for 2-0 Manchester City, a couple of second-half goals. I reckon one of them might come late on as Aston Villa will come out to play with him on the counter-attack like I said get the quick players on and I'm gonna put my team prediction now for you I'm going for Edison in goal I'm torn between Cancelo and Walker but Walker had an excellent game against Madrid I don't think City will make too many changes because of how well we played so I've gone for Walker, Mendy, Fernandinho and Otamendi I've gone for Rodri, Gundogan and De Bruyne just like we saw in Madrid along with Mares. Aguero, and I'm going to go for Bernardo Silva too to start, so near enough uh, the same team that started against Real Madrid. Obviously, Laporte can't start in this game. Uh, yeah, I feel like they deserve the start. We've got, they've, they've played magnificent in Madrid. Going, we can have a rest in midweek, do you know what I mean? We've got a cup final, get the strongest team out. Pep obviously saw this team as good enough to do a job against Real Madrid. Get the job done, like I said, in the second half. 
go at them, get the other players on the players like Raheem Sterling and make it work from there. So yeah, that's my team prediction. I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below your score and team prediction for this game. So there we go, that's been the video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave your thoughts in the comments below your score and team prediction for this game. Subscribe if you're new around here, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're in for 6k subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. You can find my social media links, which you can find in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Plug, plug, plug. And I'll see you all again for the analysis which will be up this weekend for Manchester City against Aston Villa at uh, the uh, Wembley Stadium. Uh, I think there's still like a couple of hundred tickets left. The ones that if you've got a lot of money, uh, then get yourself down to the game. I think it's like 150 quid tickets, which is just astounding. But the fact that City go to Wembley Stadium two, three, four times a season and we're still bringing down a good amount, 33,000 plus fans, I think that's remarkable a lot of people will say, oh it's not sold out and let's laugh at Manchester City, 33,000 fans travelling down, it's our third consecutive Carabao Cup final, we'll go to Wembley, like I said, two three, four times a season, games are coming thick and fast, we've just had games in Madrid, we've got games coming up in Sheffield, we've got the Manchester Derby coming up next weekend too I think that's incredible, so I salute everybody that is going, fantastic support from Manchester City there, uh, but yeah Man City in the East stand for this game. Looking forward to it. Let's hope we can pick up the win. So I'll see you all again for the next video. So I've been JSGC Opal. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now.